Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the sixth in a series of video tutorials on how to build a visual city in Unity 5. Okay, so this episode we're going to be looking at finishing our little subway tunnel just here and generally starting a few more buildings to prepare for the next tutorial. So firstly what we'll do is we'll kind of plan this little area first off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of sidewalk just here, duplicate and pull across the road to about there. That looks just fine I think. So it seems to be measured quite right just about here. But you'll see what I mean in just a second. So next thing, if we go to our subway and select steps, uh, subway walls, no, I think that's too much. We'll do it bit by bit. So firstly, we'll select just the steps. Hold control, oops, hold control, press D to duplicate your steps. Let's quickly check our snap settings. Make sure they are set to one. Hold control again and pull all your steps over to about there. So next, uh, next thing we want to do is we want to duplicate this top area. So let's find everything we need for that. So subway walls. We need wall one. Oops, let me select this tool so I can see. We need wall one, two, three. Uh, we'll leave four for now. So we need one, two, and three. And again, hold control, press D, and pull them over to about there. And if we take a quick look, you can see that we're now quickly forming this side of the. Uh, subway station. So it's appearing much quicker than when we created this side. There are a few little things already that I've noticed. This needs to be extended but we can sort that out in just a second. So next we need these subway signs. So if we take this sign 001, I think that's everything. We need to put that just into there I think. Yes, that's fine. So now we'll take sign 001, we'll duplicate, and then we'll drag that across too, to about there. That looks fine. So, we have this all sorted just here now. So what we need to do is we need to finish up just down here. And that should be a nice and simple job. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the uh, put it that way. Let's zoom inside our tunnel. Let's have a look down there. That looks fine. That looks fine too. So what we could try and do is move this floor along ever so slightly. In fact, we need to move both, don't we? So if we move it to about there, I think. Let's have a look at this wall just here. That looks fine. So now let's duplicate this wall all the way to the other end. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to pull it all the way along. Let's focus in on that wall. And let's pull it to there I think. So as you can see, there is little bits hanging out, as, as always. As I do say, you don't need to worry about that at all, because that part will never be seen by the player. So let's quickly press play and have a quick check down there. It's always good to play your scene and have a look around when you've built something because this way you can pick up all the little glitches and bugs and anything that doesn't look normal. So that looks fine there. So now as you can see we're out the other end of our tunnel. 
So the next thing to do is quickly build up the sidewalk over on this side of the street. So let's duplicate. And again. Uh, and again. Let's put that just there. Let's put that one there. I'm not going to spend too long doing this. You can be as um, careful and as do it as slowly as you can if you want to. There's no rush. I'm just rushing now just to get the it done so we can carry on with the tutorial. So there we go. That looks fine just there. So all you would need to do for the time being is just build up this side of the road down here because eventually, <coughs> excuse me, we will be building some more buildings along here to make it look a bit more normal. So the next thing we'll do is let's build some uh, some more shops just down here. So let's extend our uh, asphalt just along to about there. And let's also do the same with our sidewalk. So we'll take them three and we'll move them along and again to about there. So I'm just going to close everything in the hierarchy. And down here in the asset window, let's go to the correct place we need for now. We're going to go and we're going to import some more shops just for now. So we need the shop face folder. So let's bring in shop side 001. As always, you can get these textures on uh, our website. It won't cost you anything, it's free. The link is in the description. Head over there and then head to the download and assets section. You'll be able to pick up these assets. So, what we'll do is, as always, because we already have a bit nice buildings set up, we're going to take this one, duplicate, move it along to about there, I think. And what I'm going to do in this, in shop 006, is I'm going to delete the layers at the top. And then I'm just going to drag and drop straight onto there. Nice and simple. And next, what we're going to do is, let me see. I think we'll go over this one in building textures. And I'm going to drag and drop these two just here. So background 03 and building 001 straight into here. Give it a second just to import. And there we go. And in fact, we will set up, um, let's see what's the best way to do this. Let's set up a new folder in the textures folder and let's just call this doors. So in the doors folder let's import this door split and what I intend to do is put this door split here between this shop window and then duplicate this shop window over here. So that's a really nice simple job. So duplicate this shop and let's change the scale. So we need to change the scale on the X to, let's say, 5. And let's pull it out to about there. And just drag and drop that door split. Nice and simple. So we have shop at 007 here. So right click, rename. We'll have this shop um, 006. And then layer 001. Drag and drop onto it. And then I'm going to duplicate this one and pull it all the way to there. And then obviously I'm not going to have that door there, so I'm quickly going to just delete that. So now we have that entire kind of shop set up just there. So let's drag and drop that onto there. And let's right click, rename, shop 006 layer 002. So as you've noticed by now it's becoming pretty quick to set things up and create a new building. So I'm going to duplicate this, this uh, sidewalk just here to the end and then this asphalt as well to about there. Okay so we've set up that new building pretty quick. 
and there it is just there so with this particular building I'm going to leave it with no roof on top and just leave it like that so the next thing we'll do is let's create a new style of building for over here we imported it just a few seconds ago or a few minutes ago in the uh, where was it? it was building text wasn't it it was this one just here building 001 so let's put this in now so let's use the same technique we did let's duplicate any building drag to where we want it to go and I'm going to delete the top bit and then just drag and drop that texture straight on it looks rather crushed so let's adjust that size so it'll be on the Y axis that we need to adjust and let's put this to 15 bring it into place I think that's still too small let's try 25 I think that's too big so let's just do 20 let's pull that to there so it looks like we may need to change our snap settings so let's do that edit snap settings and let's change this to 0 0.5 point five, point five. and then let's build let's bring this up to there put them back to one just to be uh, safe there we go and there is that building right there let's duplicate that sidewalk so we now have covering there so our city is now starting to become quite a, a stretch of land now and the final thing I'm going to do is just quickly go over this so background tower let's duplicate that let's just put it there bring it down slightly and then we imported this background before so let's quickly drag and drop onto every single one of them and let's build a few more background buildings just to make it look a bit more like a city I'm not going to take too long I'm just going to do this about there so let's press play so as you can see the city is now starting to build up and looking a lot like a city so as we walk along you can see the buildings in the background we have quite or a few shops over here and we're starting to build up on the other side of the street now. So we'll leave that episode there for now. In our next episode, we're going to be looking at doing uh, a lot of other things. For example, building alleyways, um, adding in a few extras like fences, um, different bits and bobs. I don't think we'll be building much in the way of buildings next time, but eventually we, I'll be giving you a big pile of textures for you to just go and play with. Because it gets to a point when I can't really show you anything new and is all about you building your own city. So as I say, we'll leave it there for now and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching.